I think we've been locked up in our houses too long. This is the only view I've had of you for six months, is just this yes. office that you have. I get the impression that you never leave that wall. Hi, I'm Jenny Hendricks. And I'm Ted Kaplan. And we are the authors of Save Steve. Save Steve is the story of the bad things that can happen when you try to do something incredibly stupid to impress a girl. Like, say, organizing a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for her cancer-stricken boyfriend in hopes that she will finally notice you and fall in love. A terrible idea. Especially because the boyfriend knows exactly what you're doing and has planned a little bit of a wrench. By hacking your GoFundMe account and posting all sorts of insane stunts. Like a beard of bees. A giant hamster ball. Getting his name tattooed on your butt. And you can't back out or don't want to because, well, you are getting to spend a little more time with your crush. But as it turns out, you're spending a lot of time with this guy too, and he might not be as terrible as you thought. In fact, you might kinda, sorta be friends. Ultimately, Save Steve is about being messy, making mistakes, and learning what it really means to do the right thing. Our other book, Unpregnant is another messy friendship story, and it has been turned into a movie. It stars Haley Lou Richardson and Barbie Ferreira, and it is out right now on HBO Max. Dream it. So you might have noticed that there's a theme running in our books. We explore heavy, complicated issues, but we use dark humor to do it. The story of Save Steve deals with childhood cancer which unfortunately I know a little bit about, or a lot about, since my brother passed away when I was 12 from lymphoma. It was a really rough time, and our family really went through it. Um, there were a lot of dark days, and you know, my parents are still you know, dealing with the consequences of it. So, that got a little awkward. Sorry, Jenny, didn't mean to go down the rabbit hole. See, it got sad there, and we all felt we all felt sad and depressed. <laughs> Sorry. Which is why we, as writers, like to inject a little bit of humor into these serious, scary topics. Because when you're able to laugh at something, it makes it a little less scary. Yeah, well, one way that I found, for sure, to get through very dark times is with laughter. And hence, safety. Ted, by the way, Epic Reads asked us to do, like, um, a funny take on a serious topic um, to kind of demonstrate this whole like gallows humor type of thing. Right, um, right, right. And I had this whole sketch about a goldfish, um, but then I realized there was something that I actually did need to talk to you about. Oh, okay. Well, right here. Yeah, you're bald. What? Fine. If we're sharing things, I'm waxing. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Laughter might not be able to fix things, but it can make you feel better, just even for a moment. And let's be honest, right now it's a pretty scary time, and we could all use a little bit of laughter. So maybe pick up Save Steve, get a, get a few laughs. There's dancing. Uh, vegan meals. These are things kids want to read about. Do you like Michelle Obama and Cardi B? They're in the book. There are a bunch of sharks in this book. One shark. It's big. But it's, um, there are, there are bees. A lot of kids want to read about that. Boomerang it, whatever, you know, the stuff that people will do. I'll make a TikTok, whatever that is. So read the book, hashtag Cardi B Michelle Obama, save Steve. Let's get it going. Both Michelle Obama and Cardi B had absolutely nothing to do they, with this book. They did not endorse this book. Yeah. No.